It's Margaret Skypen, and you're in another fun episode. Let the war be over. Which war, you ask? The CVDs versus HPHT diamonds. It's been the most hottest topic after De Beers, I want to say. Everyone's talking about it because now that the lab grow and diamonds are in and a lot of people are buying them, the most obvious question is which one to buy and what is the difference? Let's go through this video super, super quick with all the valid points. After this video, I'm hoping you're going to be an expert and make that decision on buying one or the other super easy. What are HPHT diamonds? HPHT stands for high pressure, high temperature diamonds. This is a method that the lab grown diamond was growing with. CVD is chemical vapor deposition, another method that the lab grown diamonds was growing with. Okay. So there are two methods, big deal. Why is everyone fighting which one is better and which one is not? You owe my two cents on this? It is a setup, you guys, you have to understand. We're talking about almost identical diamonds. They are not earth mines, so it doesn't matter which origin you're getting them from. This is not like you're going with Canadian diamonds versus African diamonds because you, you know, for whatever reasons, you want to stay within that region for your diamond. They're grown in laboratory, people. It does not matter which one you get. Yes. I know, I can hear you out there saying there's articles about how HPHT are better because they're better on larger stones because they have less grays and less brown colors. And then there's others fighting that CVDs are, are more clean and crisp and so on and so forth. I'm going to tell you shocking news right now. It's a setup. It is not real. It is the companies that are selling HPHT and CVD diamonds simply wanting to sell their product, fighting against each other, making these valid points across the web, making these videos, making these different magazines and making these different forums on discussions. And I've seen some blogs with one is better than the other. Wake up people. One is not better than the other. They're both lab growing diamonds. Okay. The only thing that I have to tell you is there are bed lemons in every batch. I've seen CVDs with bluish undertone. I've seen CVDs with brown. I've seen CVDs with, you know, inclusions that were not nice. And I, the same thing, I've seen HPHT's diamonds with exactly the same thing. It, it doesn't make any difference. The only thing I'm going to tell you, the biggest difference between the two is one, the HPHT. If you are hung up on getting HPHT diamond, the only way you will be a hundred percent sure is if you get the IGI laboratory certificate. You can't go with GIA certificate being a hundred percent. And I'm going to tell you why GIA certificate on the GIA certificate for lab grown diamonds. There is no section for how the lab grown diamond was made. That section exists only on IGI certificate. And while I'm not telling you that you should get one over the other, I'm just explaining that if you're hung up on getting HPHT diamond, then you have to go with IGI certificate. Because in all the other cases, if you're getting a GIA certificate for your diamond, you will have to just take my word for it or the manufacturer word for it. Or buy your diamond with GIA certificate and then have an IGI certificate made afterwards, which is a long, costly process. I want you to understand this because if you're getting a GIA certificate, it is up to me to tell you what, you know, what the manufacturer told me how the diamond was grown. So if I'm getting a one or two or three carat and saying, okay, this is a three carat, you should buy a blah, blah. You can ask me, is this CBD or HPHT? And I will tell you, however, you will have to trust me on that. I have no paperwork to show you to tell you that that is, you know, the case. So if you're hung up on that and you really want just HPHT, go with IJ certificate for your peace of mind, because at least that way you will know it is actually HPHT because it says is right there. Let me show you right here where to look for it. Okay. So that's number one different, big difference. Number two difference. Also really, really big difference between them. The HPHT diamonds are scarce and this is not because they are, you know, rare because the problem is that it takes them longer to grow. So you will see them mostly with half a carrot, some with one carrot. It's harder to find an HPHT diamond with the larger stones. If you're going for two, three, four or five carrots, you will see that the market mostly has CBD diamond. This is normal. CVD diamonds take less time to grow, so they're a lot more available. The third biggest difference between them is that CVD diamonds are cleaner chemically, which only matters if you're going for SI, I, you know, maybe VS2 stone. If you are going for VVS diamond, then it really doesn't matter because you're not going to see inclusions anyways. So if that's one of the things you read about, yes, I'm saying it's true, then go for VVS. And at the end of the day, you have to understand 
they're all laboratory grown. There's no difference to me whatsoever under microscope. Doesn't matter that one is grown as in cubic and one is in a different way. Does not matter. They have the same brilliance. They have the same beauty. It all comes down to cut, carrot, clarity, fluorescence or no fluorescence. It comes down to the same thing as diamond would come down to. I can't tell you that the HPHTs are better or the CVDs are better. They're the same thing. I've seen bad HPHTs and I've seen bad CVDs. You have to find a person you trust so that they can explain you these and hopefully they can show you a few stones so that you can see them and say, okay, I'm in love with this stone because chances are you won't even see that gray undertone or blue undertone or whatever brown undertone they talk about in a lot of blogs that I see. A trained eye can see it. Yes, there are people that have super amazing eyes that they can see it, but to most, you know, most just fall in love with the stone and that is it, you know, because the brilliance, if you're going for nice cut and clarity and color, it's just so overpowering and beautiful and once it's set in jewelry, you just love your ring. So can you stop this fight about saying that one is better than the other and the other is better than the other? It is a setup. It is as simple as that. If I'm selling apples and my neighbor is selling oranges, then I'm going to go for apples and I'm going to tell everybody that you have to eat an apple a day because that's a good thing. And then the neighbor is going to say you have to eat an orange a day because that's vitamin C. We'll both be right because we're both, you know, promoting nice product, apples and oranges. But at the end of the day, it's still the same. It's good for you whether you eat apple or an orange. So people, buy any CVD you fall in love with. And if you have any questions or you can't find a person that you trust, email me, call me. My information is right here. I answer all my emails, all my questions, and all my phone calls all the time. Why? Because I want to give back to you, to the community, for you to make the right decision to buy the right product. It's Margaret Skyben, and if you like what you saw, subscribe.